having Zach and Marone, I mean, guys with tremendous NFL experience, mm -hmm. how much that has meant to you? It's been awesome. I mean, uh, can't ask for a better coaching staff um, overall and, you know, two great guys in the room who are, you know, willing to help you out, willing to do the extra and, um, you know, they take care of us and they trust us and it's it's been awesome, you know, learning things from them, new things, old things and just kind of getting the fundamentals down throughout these past few months has been awesome and looking forward to continuing to work with them. 48 straight consecutive starts, am I right? Yeah. There had to be games that, or you had this hurt, that hurt. Um, you're obviously a guy that can just, when it comes game time, you're ready to go. Yeah, you know, I think there's an adrenaline portion to that. Um, but, you know, luckily by the grace of God, I've been fairly healthy my whole life. You know, bumps and bruises here and there, but, um, you know, signed up to play football and it's a rough sport. So I think your body just becomes accustomed to that. And I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there who have played just as many games, I know more, um, in a row. And it's, it's awesome and it's a cool accomplishment. But like I said, I was just going out there every day and, um, you know, didn't matter what. And I, like I said, I was pretty lucky and blessed as far as injury wise throughout. So is there, what was the toughest injury that you did have to overcome? Uh, my sophomore year of high school, I actually broke my ankle. Um, so that was, that was pretty tough. I missed my whole sophomore season. Um, but besides that, I mean, it's been, you know, common O-line things, jam your finger, you know, hurt your hand, something like that, but nothing, nothing too crazy. So got to thank God for that. Uh, last, last question, Montana State, I mean, coming here, uh, learning curve, what was the biggest, biggest jump for you from where you played to where you are? Uh, I mean, it's probably a pretty common answer for FCS guys, but just, um, Speed of the game, for sure. Um, you know, learning to time the cadence, learning to jump the snap count, all that stuff, and everybody here is fast and, and physical. So, learning to to play at that speed and elevate your speed to that has been um, was a challenge. And then, you know, I'm still growing, still learning, and um, just continuing to try to improve on that. How, how do you adjust to that speed? Is it just reps? Is yeah, like just as many reps as you can. You know, talking with other guys, seeing you know timing stuff, what works for them. Um, not everybody's the same, so you got to kind of find something that works for you. Lewis, did you at any point ever exhale, feel like I've made this team, I've made this 53? Um, you know, it's still, I, I don't know if it's like necessarily hit me yet. Like I'm still in that mode of I, I still got something to prove. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm here to, to help out the team in any way possible, no matter what. Um, so it's awesome. It's great. You know, everybody's super excited, family, friends. But at the end of the day, I'm, my work's not done. And um I'm just, just ready to continue this work and get going into the season. What's the journey been like for you? I mean, you kind of went from a long shot to a guy who was basically kind of thrust into the middle of it yeah. uh, against a really good team yeah. in Green Bay. Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, um, throughout camp, it's been, it's been a journey. Starting out, you know, just kind of OTAs and stuff and, you know, kind of being okay. second string, third string, just with the amount of guys you have. And then um, when we got out of rookie OTAs, going into regular OTAs and, um, just kind of backing guys up and, you know, with um, Ramchek being out and, you know, kind of limiting him and stuff, it allowed Landon and I to get some more reps with the ones and twos. So, um, you know, just kind of stepping up when guys guys needed a break or if they were limited guys or, you know, if somebody went down. And then obviously, unfortunately, with Landon going down that week and James, it just kind of, you know, something we needed, we needed tackles. And um, that's what I'm doing and that's what I've been working. So, um, it was a tough week of practice for sure, but it was fun. I got I got a lot better. I learned a lot, um, you know, even through the throughout the three games, um, Houston and then Green Bay and the Chargers. It was, it was an awesome experience and kind of really cool to get that experience underneath your belt before the first game. So you never want to see a guy get injured, but is it helpful to I guess be in that situation where you just kind of thrust in, you don't really have to think about it, you just go. Yeah, as as unfortunate as it is, that's the that's the game we play. That's what we sign up for, the inherent risk of, of football, as anyone will tell you, you know, we have injuries all the time, every day, and it sucks and nobody wishes that. I've never met any person that's like, I want this guy to get hurt. Um, because, you know, I'm usually surrounded by pretty good people. And uh, it's just not the way you want, you know, your teammate, your brother to go down. Um, and you want a good competition. You don't want it to be, oh, well, this guy's only playing because, you know, everybody else is hurt. He's kind of the last resort. You want to earn that spot. So, um, you know, it's, it's just it's the next man up mentality. And that's kind of what I've always tried to live my, my football career on. Um, that's how I got my start in college. Um, guard went down, senior guard who probably wasn't even gonna, I probably wasn't even going to play that much. Um, I think it was the 2017 season. And he ended up going down, I think breaking his foot or something like that. Or it's actually his knee did something to his knee and ended up being out for the season. So um, that's kind of when I stepped in and, and took over. So 
Um, I've always kind of been about that next man mentality, and I think everybody kind of lives that. I mean, we were out there at practice rotating around different guys and all that stuff, so it's just everybody's everybody used to that, and it's, it's cool to be in a, a culture that, you know, um, encourages that for sure.